Hello, my favorite on this beautiful Thursday. Happy for the Thursday, by the way. Sunny and beautiful sun is kissing my face. I read a Rumi poetry recently. Rumi, I love Rumi. Uh, who doesn't know, please uh, research on Google, Wikipedia, YouTube, whatever. It's an ancient uh, poet. Um, he was a Sufi. Well, Sufism basically came from based on Rumi poetry as well. Um, one of his lines is A stone I died and um, came back as a plant. A, a plant I died and came back as an animal. I died as an animal and I came as a man. So what should I fear? What have I lost by death? I'm just paraphrasing, okay? I didn't memorize it. <laughs> so I notice on a lot of people on, uh, especially Facebook, because a lot of people treat Facebook as their diary, which is not right or not wrong. I'm not here to judge anybody. But people, strangely enough, afraid and they hate death. And uh, as esoteric, as a witch, <laughs> um, don't put a bad connotation, a good connotation, witch that loves plants and trees and nature and people. <laughs> so people are running away from death. Imagine if death is the most beautiful thing than you can ever imagine. It's a transition. And it's also something goes back, call it God, call it universe, call it, uh, call it uh, collective consciousness, call it everybody's energy, call it Akashic, call it whatever, whatever it suits you in your language. However, I just thought to make that video about life and death as I see a lot of people grieving over loved one passed away especially due to the basically last uh four years of a lot of trauma a lot of political issues a lot of uh, um political games i'm not gonna go deeper because my facebook was on strike a while ago so i don't want to have another strike <laughs> no strikes on my page and uh, as tragic as we see death and uh, reuniting, not reuniting, well, we, we will reunite, right, eventually, uh, but separating from our loved ones, whether it's your, it's your family, it's your parents, it's your child, it's your loved one, it's your grandparents, maybe just your friends, your pets, uh, it's funny, by the way, about the pets. People grieve more about uh, losing pets than, than humans. It's statistic, okay? And I think the reason is because they are so cool in their nature. They are so innocent and loving that when we lose a person, we it's more, it's more of a selfish act. It's like, okay, so he, she, they gone. So how are I going to function without them? Like, why did they leave me? What are they going to do in this wild, cold world? Uh, forgetting about that, we're going to be there too. <laughs> so don't be fooled thinking that uh, we're stuck here forever. Um, I do believe in a, in a cycle of life. Life and death. And I don't know, again, in the ancient world, ancient people... I think they were more spiritual, maybe because they didn't have a gadgets, maybe because they didn't have a YouTube, <laughs> maybe because they didn't have Instagram and all these uh, celebrities talking about different stuff. And they were not as brainwashed uh, with the different theories about life and death and uh, soul journey. I perfectly believe and I perfectly balance in uh, whenever it's your time, whenever your soul contract is over, you will depart and uh, 
the same goes with humans, the same goes with animals, the same goes with anything. And I think it's, uh, if you want to believe in a construct that we live here, like a matrix construct that we uh, basically struggle here all together, uh, I agree to disagree. <laughs> but then at the same time, I think there is a deeper meaning in all that. Um, I have some people, I have some friends that they're like, uh, do you really believe in afterlife? Do you really like believe in uh, uh, in a God and all that stuff? Well, it depends what you call it, God. Call it co God co could be a uh, collective consciousness of our minds put all together, of our experiences. Some people call it again Akashic records, whatever. Um, I'm not there to tell you what's gonna happen. I don't know. I want to sound more sun. Sound on my face, yes. Um, but there is a cool things when you go in the nature. Sometimes you kind of like you almost get connected, or sometimes you get connected with some people, and you start to understand more. But only for the short period of time. And then we go back to society. We go back to the city. Or we go back to our family members. We go back to our gadgets. We go back to our uh, digital life. <laughs> uh, and then we kind of get disconnected from the reality. But reality is beautiful. Uh, death is when somebody go back to where they belong. Now, where do we belong more here or there? I don't know. But I think we have to take death with the grace and with honor and it's okay to cry because like it's almost like when I used to take uh, my friends to the airport I used to like oh I used to cry because like separation it's normal right because we grow attached to things to people to 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 places to to everything because we are we are creatures of habits creatures of uh, attachments and when it's time to separate, uh, we cry, we get sad. But remember, every separation brings more into our life. Yeah. So I know it's deep because I'm just about to finish my book. So I will be announcing that great day. It took me basically almost since 2014. Yes, 10 years. Yes, yes. And uh, this year, it's the year of dragon. It's my year. Ooh. Um, and I love it. I know officially year of the dragon by the Chinese calendar. It's supposed to start on February. However, I already feel the vibe of my dragon. Um, and yeah, so in my book, I also discussed that. So I just, I just thought it's cool to share that. Um, we all is losing somebody or some, 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 some day will come somebody will lose us and uh, I don't know should I say lose it or we're going to get separated or we're just going to go under the veil who knows but I think we shouldn't be killing ourselves in regards to separation and uh, losing our mind over that I went through that hard hardship emotional roller coaster back in 2014 when i lost somebody very precious to me i still remember that person in fact he died um in my car <laughs> i couldn't rescue him i couldn't save him it was just it just happened and it took me over a year to get over the fact that he was gone uh however now i'm I'm at peace, I learned a lot, and what's really good about, uh, I shouldn't say good, but uh, I'm looking for a better word, positive when we're separating from our loved ones, is that we should look wider and deeper into the situation, and maybe we should rediscover ourselves our connections to this world, our connections to divine, and um, 
going to let the plane pass and maybe going to balance our emotions and fears because fear of death is one of the uh, one of the stronger feeling fear of death and the next one is sexual desire those two are the most strong feelings that drive this world sometimes to insanity and sometimes to uh, to enlightenment it depends how we approach it so on this beautiful day I'm gonna continue my walking in a park and uh, I hope I made your day better with this video and I hope I I don't use hope hope is is weak I believe <laughs> I made your day better I made you feel better about the whole situation life and death and uh, be at peace uh, be in harmony and be in balance with yourself and the world around you Mwah.